9 Warnings You Must Know Before Using Castor Oil Castor oil has been featured all over social media as a remedy for all problems. But how accurate are these claims? In this video, we're here to sift through the facts and myths surrounding castor oil. We'll also delve into a comparison of information from modern medical research with traditional healing systems like Ayurveda to better understand its healing properties. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty, let's take a moment to truly grasp what castor oil is and what attributes contribute to its reputed healing powers. What is castor oil? Castor oil is a type of vegetable oil derived from the seeds of the castor bean plant, which is naturally found in Africa, India, and South America. The castor beans are highly toxic to humans and animals. The castor beans have a protein called ricin which is poisonous. Apparently, it is one of the deadliest natural poisons, 6,000 times more poisonous than cyanide and 12,000 times more poisonous than rattlesnake venom. Luckily though, unless you chew the seed really thoroughly, swallowing the whole seeds won't harm you much, but please don't try it. Why is castor oil not toxic? Castor oil is processed by cold pressing the seeds followed by heat. Since ricin, the poisonous protein, is water-soluble, the oil contains very small amounts and heating ensures it is removed. So, it is not a surprise that castor oil has been around for thousands of years. Uses of castor oil have been recorded in papyrus since 1550 BC, and castor oil has been found in ancient Egyptian tombs dating back to 4000 BC. Just like how it is used nowadays, ancient Egyptians used castor oil in cosmetics, medicines, and as lamp oil. The key component in castor oil is ricinoleic acid, a form of fatty acid. Ricinoleic acid is highly absorbable so it has been used as a foundation for many transdermal applications including medicine and makeup. As we delve into the modern day uses of castor oil, let's also explore the essential precautions to ensure its safe and effective application. First, castor oil as laxative. The Food and Drug Administration, FDA, has approved castor oil for only one medical use. That is, to serve as a stimulant laxative. Castor oil is often used to treat constipation or prep the bowels for various medical procedures. Ricinoleic acid is thought to be responsible for the laxative properties of castor oil. Once digested, castor oil is broken down into ricinoleic acid. Ricinoleic acid attaches to a receptor in the intestines. This causes the muscles to contract and stimulate the bowels through a series of reactions. While research has shown that castor oil is an efficient way to cleanse the bowels for procedures such as colonoscopy, the studies conducted have been small, and there are other more effective laxatives available to use. Warning: Castor oil used in large quantities is associated with more cramping, vomiting, bloating, and dizziness. If used for long term, using a stimulant laxative too often can affect the muscles of the colon, making it harder to pass bowel movements on your own. Regularly using castor oil can also be harsh on the gut. When you use castor oil for constipation, take it several hours before or after you take any other medications. Laxatives can change how other drugs work. Don't combine it with any other laxatives or diuretics. Second, castor oil for skin moisturizer. Castor oil is considered an occlusive moisturizer, which means it creates a barrier to protect the skin and locks in moisture to prevent dry skin. Castor oil is commonly found in beauty products such as lipstick and lip balms as well as moisturizer. The fatty acids in ricinoleic acid may have emollient benefits to help smooth, soften and hydrate the skin, and castor oil's antioxidants properties could in theory help protect the skin from free radical damage. However, it's difficult to draw conclusions without robust scientific studies. Warning: Applying straight castor oil may lead to skin irritation, inflammation, and dryness. 
Castor oil could clog pores and make acne worse or cause people to develop acne who didn't have it before. If people choose to use castor oil on the skin, it is recommended to dilute it with a carrier oil, such as coconut oil, or applying a small amount one or two times per day or as needed. If you're allergic to the castor plant, you could have itching, swelling, or rashes if you apply the oil to your skin. Test a small spot before you use it. Third, castor oil to heal wounds. Castor oil has antibacterial and antimicrobial properties that may help speed wound healing, especially when it's combined with other ingredients. Venilex, which contains castor oil along with other ingredients, is an ointment used to treat skin and pressure wounds. The oil may help to prevent infection by keeping the wounds moist, while the ricinoleic acid reduces inflammation. Warning, don't use castor oil on minor cuts or burns at home. It's recommended for wound care only in doctors' offices and hospitals. Fourth, castor oil for hair growth. Castor oil is sometimes marketed as a treatment for dry scalp, hair growth, and dandruff. It may moisturize your scalp and hair, but there's no science to back up claims that it treats dandruff or promotes hair growth. Contrary to modern science, in Ayurveda, a natural system of medicine originating from India, hair loss is caused by excess heat by burning hair follicles. Castor oil may be cooling to follicles and strengthening the roots, possibly aiding with hair growth. But there is no scientific evidence on this. Generally, applying castor oil to the scalp is not harmful, but be careful of potential clogged pores and irritation. Fifth, castor oil to put in the belly button. You may have seen this practice in many social media platforms. The idea of pouring castor oil on top of the belly button is based on an Ayurvedic treatment that suggests a pachodi gland near your navel can absorb things like essential oils through your belly button. But there's no scientific evidence that this gland exists. So there's likely no advantage to putting castor oil in your belly button. But it probably won't hurt you, either. If you fancy Ayurvedic navel therapy, you could try pooling castor oil together with warm carrier oil. Add a few drops of aromatic essential oil and massage the mixture onto the belly. This may promote clarity of mind and reduce mental pressure. Sixth, castor oil packs. Some people use castor oil packs as remedies for constipation, dry skin, arthritis, or period cramps. This is a similar concept as pooling oil onto the belly button. Castor oil packs are pieces of fabric, usually cotton or wool, soaked in castor oil. You apply them to your skin, with or without a heating pad. While a heated pad might feel soothing, there's not much research to support the benefits of castor oil packs. Seventh, castor oil for eyes. There have been studies on using it as preparations for eye drops although don't go try this yourself as there was toxicity reported to the cornea when applied by itself. Warning, avoid putting castor oil directly in the eyes. A social media trend is encouraging people to do so for various eye conditions, but according to doctors, there is absolutely zero scientific evidence that castor oil can safely and effectively treat glaucoma, cataract, and other serious eye problems as proclaimed in some social media posts. Some FDA-approved eye drops contain castor oil, but the castor oil you buy in stores is not safe for use directly in the eyes. 8. Castor Oil for Labor Studies also indicate a possible use for stimulating contractions during labor as a method of induction of labor are promising. It's been used for centuries to help during labor and delivery. In fact, a survey from 1999 found that 93% of midwives in the U.S. used it to induce labor. But while some studies have shown it might help, others have not found it to be effective. Warning, if you're pregnant, don't try castor oil without talking to your doctor. Lastly, 
Castor oil for anti-inflammatory effects such as arthritis. Research in animals shows that ricinoleic acid may help fight swelling and pain caused by inflammation when applied to your skin. One study in people found it was as effective at treating symptoms of knee arthritis as a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID. Castor oil has been studied for potential use in relieving symptoms associated with osteoarthritis of the knee. In the study, men and women over 40 with knee osteoarthritis took capsules containing castor oil or diclofenac sodium, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, three times daily for four weeks. The results indicated that both treatments were effective at relieving pain associated with osteoarthritis. In the diclofenac sodium group, 90% of participants showed significant improvement in pain levels, while 92% of those in the castor oil group showed significant improvement in arthritis-associated pain. The study authors noted that the findings were significant because no side effects were associated with the use of castor oil. But in the diclofenac sodium group, about 20% of participants complained of mild gastritis, inflammation of the stomach lining, and 4% of participants complained of skin rashes. So, we have studied that there are some health benefits to castor oil but we need to be mindful of some potential side effects. Never use castor oil or anything in excess.